Hey everybody, Zealous Talon here with a review of the Thunder Source Megazord from Power Rangers Dino Thunder, aka the uh, uh, Abareno from Bakuryu Sentai Abaranger. I actually do like to call it the Abareno more, even though this is the Thunder Source Megazord version of the toy. I just like the name better. Pretty much all of the Megazords in this particular line, I like their Japanese names a lot better. Really, I do. Um, anyway, so um, you have the red Tyrannosaurus, very, very big. I wonder who forms the majority of it. I really do. Anyway, uh, the uh, blue Triceratops and the yellow Pteranodon. And, and when when I first saw these toys, I thought that they... I, I wasn't aware of the whole Power Rangers connection with Sentai, and I thought that they were... The band I was just trying to rip off uh, MMPR season one and try and get some of the old school fans back into it or something, or just, like running out of ideas trying to throw back to it. And I was just like, oh, what the fuck? They're raping my childhood. But no, come to find out years later, it's all like ties into Sentai and, you know, G Rangers a drop in a bucket compared to, you know, as far as the history of that series goes. So, you know, they're just like, you know, fuck it, we want to use dinosaurs again. And, it's like, oh, okay, well, these are some cool fucking dinosaurs. I gotta be honest, these are awesome. They definitely took a cue from Gow Ranger and making them a lot more organic looking. I mean, they're, they're still kind of like trippy with all of these silver highlights everywhere on them, but very, very cool and just, you know, aggressive and sort and just the T-Rex especially, just very aggressive looking. Um, it's really neat, and also I, I like that the vast majority of the toys of the the Zords in this line were actual dinosaurs. Only three of them were not. The Pterozord here being one of them, obviously a Pteranodon. Uh, the other two being uh, the the Dragozord, aka Top Galer, um, is another Pterosaur, a Tupacuara, and the Dimetrozord, which is you know a uh, reptile much more ancient than the dinosaurs and actually more closely related to mammals interestingly enough so but those those I will discuss in more detail at a different time anyway these guys awesome looking um, the Triceratops is definitely the brick of the group he just has an opening mouth and the legs can kinda move if you really want to kind of sort of pose him, but it's more for transformation. Terrazord has a bit more posability. Um, her legs move for, for transformation, but it's a lot more convincing for posing than the Triceratops is. Um, her head and neck move very nicely. And also the, the wings move again. Um, so you can stretch them out kind of far if you want, or kind of curl them down. They can flap forward, they can rotate. Um, there's a joint here that elevates them, but again, for transformation purposes. Tyrannosaurus, easily the most posable out of all of them. The most imposing, the biggest, he just looks fucking awesome on a shelf by himself if you're, in, if you're so inclined. Um, mouth opens and actually kind of just fixes between two positions, so he's got a nice snap to his jaw. And some big evil looking gold fangs. Very nice. Shoulders move, wrists move, hips move, knees, ankles. That's about it. Anyway, to combine these guys, you're going to start by straightening out the T Rex's legs. And then these thigh panels here, you're going to lift the tops up and rotate them backwards and then these thigh armors will unclip from the hip and the thigh and come down to form shin guards. You'll for fold the arms up, fold the hands against the arms and fold them back. And then the hip assembly you'll just lift up and rotate the legs as you do so to bring it underneath the main body and it'll 
clip in nicely. The problem here is that with all of this leg transformation, you actually lose the ankle articulation, the knee articulation is reduced to one click, and you pretty much lose the, th the hip articulation. Very disappointing, but Megazords have always been bricks and I can live with it. So you rotate that, drop the tail down to become the left arm, lift the head up, rotate it around to the front, lower it back down. And what I like to do here is when you open this cover up, make sure it's aligned and you just jerk it back um, really quick. And what that'll do is it'll help pop the robot head up, which you can just clip in and then fold that panel back down. And you have the Tyrannosaurus done. Triceratops, very simple, just shut his mouth. Uh, he also has this little lever on his, the back of his head which moves his horns for a little pincer attack. Anyway, fold up all the legs and plug him on as a right arm. Technically this is done in a way because what you can do is there is a mode called Abereno G or Thunder Sourcing Complete where you basically take off the tails and the head of the Triceratops and there's another hand in here that folds out. Fold down this handle, attach the Tyrannosaurus tail, and it becomes a sword. And then with this, there's a little handle in here that comes out. There is another handle piece that is supposed to be included with this toy. This was second hand. I did not get the other handle. I thought it would, was in there, but I was mistaken. But and, and it was never really advertised as fully complete, so I, not a lot I can do about it. If there is someone out there who has the part and they can, you know, you know, separate with it, if if you will, or if you know where I can get a repro, please um, message, comment, anything would be appreciated. But you just put that in the hand, and the other handle helps because it it makes it so that the shield is below and not above the point of rotation so it doesn't flop around like this because this arm has a gimmick which we'll get to anyway detour over let's get back to finishing this guy up so we just reassemble him and take the Terrazord, take her backside off, set it aside, the head will fold down onto the chest, lift the wings up like so, and then fold in the outer panel. And you're gonna slide her crest up into this hole under the T-Rex's jaw, and then a clip on her backside will plug into the uh, yeah, the crotch. What were they thinking? And then pegs on the wings will go into holes on either side of the chest. Very secure. Next, her backside, you just fold the legs back so that the bottom of the feet are flush with her tail. And just kind of even them out. And hey, it's a helmet, which does help make the head look a bit bigger. It was a bit disproportionately small. And that is the Abereno, aka Thundersaurus Megazord. You can also, you know, in case it wasn't clear that you don't really need the Terrazord to make this thing work, you can just take her whole body off and extend her wings out and you can use her like a uh, boomerang of some sort, like that. And it actually holds pretty well, I was surprised, but the main weapon gimmick is of course the drill, which this being the American version, you have to there this there's center which is off, and then if you pull it back, it'll automatically work. But if you push it forward, it will not work unless you push this stupid try me button on the left side of the chest, which you can actually push on the Terra wing and make it work, but it, whatever. Anyway, that's all for this guy, so 
I like him a bit. He has this tribal warrior aesthetic, but laters. 